Once you learn the teddy bear basics, you will be able to make many different kinds of teddy bears. For this project, you will need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook, a crafter's needle, a loom hook, the pink 26 peg nifty knitter long loom, and loom clips. You will also need yarn. The Nifty Knitter products are available on the internet. Just put in Nifty Knitter and it will come up. Now we're ready to do the cinch strap on the, the teddy bear. And so you get as close to the middle as you can. And so there's six on each side. So we're going to uh, start uh, six in right here and we go down and around the you know a little tail there bring it around to the inside and then we go the rest of the way around bringing it up through the groove so uh, bring it up through the groove, pull it around behind, bring it up through the groove, pull it around behind, up through the groove, pull it all out, bring it around. And then when you get to this end here, this is the one part that might be a little tricky. You have the other uh, strand in the road but make sure you don't catch it just go around just the one that you're pulling through and then pull it through to see when we counted around the whole thing and bring it up and doing the uh, cinch strap we've all we've gone all the way around except for this last one we're going to come through, through it, and now that we've now we've gone all the way around, uh, we uh, need now to go around this one so that uh, it's all the way around plus one peg. And so we'll bring this up through and then bring it around behind. You'll notice now that the beginning and the ending of these cinch strap tails are on each side of this peg that we started with. After you've gone six rows or so beyond the uh, uh, cinch cord, you can uh, pull these uh, tails of the cinch cord back down through. I just use a hook. A lot of people like to use a crochet hook for some of those kind of things. And then you can take those tails and not not uh, a lot but by pulling those tails on each side you can see how it brings it in and lets you know so you can count the rows easier how many more rows you need to go now we're ready to do the uh, first uh, decrease at the end of those 16 rows since the cinch strap and to do the decrease we go across the three pegs on the end and then we take this off the peg bring it to the inside and we take a insert put it in the middle and we just snap it in and we bring this back over and then we tighten this so that's the first row of the decrease we'll do the same thing on the other end and then and then we'll do the second row on this end and then we'll come back and show you the second row on the other end okay we've gone two pegs from the end now and so we're ready to just bring this back over and uh, that leaves a double there and then we can bring the double across the single 
and on this one we don't need to put double across the single because it was already decreased on the last row and then on this one we bring the off of the outside peg and so that's the decrease on the outside and then we bring whoops I didn't I wanted to leave that doubled it just works out better if you leave it doubled so I'm going to bring that back across and then we uh, bring the doubles across the single and that's the decrease we've got the decrease now on each end and we just continue the straight stitch on for eight more rows and then we'll uh, put the cinch strap in and uh, cinch down the head okay we've gone eight rows now from the the decrease and uh, then we've gone two pegs beyond and then I cut this off so that it has enough room to go all the way around for the cinch strap for the top and then you do the cinch strap basically the same way except that it's a continuation of uh, the same yarn that you've been doing all the way up to make the rows it's just been cut off so that now we can stick it through all of them so that it will cinch up and we go all the way around and uh, one peg beyond all the way around so we'll come back to this peg right here that we started with and then we'll have the cinch strap to cinch in the top and we'll take it off and be able to stuff it after going all the way around plus the one peg now I can take everything off I've done all that almost all the way around and when I take it all off then this cinch strap can actually cinch it up we want to cinch it all the way up because we're going to stuff it but and then we'll need to make some other cinch straps down here but the next step is to stuff okay we're uh, gonna stuff uh, teddy bear I've started it and uh, got quite a ways we started by stuffing these legs and then I had threaded these uh, threads around through the outside loops and then tied them together in a square knot and uh, and we tie the we stuffed the body and then I cinched the neck and tied it in a bow so we can st still undo it and adjust it and now I'm uh, starting to stuff the the head and the, this is uh, the stuffing I use is is batting little scraps left over from ladies making quilts and uh, my wife uh, and some of her uh, associates do some quilts for various things and so I've been able to get that pretty regularly however they're starting to do uh, quilting in new ways and so that may not be something I'll be able to continue to do I stuffed the head and you'll see the the cord here that uh, I've threaded around the whole thing and uh, then we will tighten it I've got some more stuffing to do I'll tighten it a little bit and see just how much stuffing needs to be done and then we'll try and stuff it Should we cinch it in and see how close we're getting? I feel like we're getting pretty close. Let me get it that tightened then we take a needle and take it and run it around through this 
several times to tighten it and then we use this to uh, fill these holes kind of threading it down there through this with a needle and uh, we'll do the the arms and do this with these cinch cords and there's some little holes down here to fill with some of these cords that are left over the cinch that's the stuffed teddy bear and now we'll uh, go in and teach you how to do the nose and the ears and uh, the arms so we can complete this teddy bear but that's the basic several videos are available at Don's Loom Knitting this is the one for flat ears there's also one for round ears uh, there's one for different noses and there's also one for the arm color counting the shoulder and the horse also has just the basic teddy bear parts I wish to give thanks to my wife Miriam and to Marcia for their many help and many others.